Hey everyone, Asian Sleepy here, and welcome to a new pickups video. I want to start off uh, this year with uh, the pickups I got in the month of December, as well with my uh, Christmas uh, gifts that I got. I'll start off with all the stuff that my girlfriend got me. She picked me up a lot of great stuff. Uh, she knows I'm a huge Star Trek fan, and she found a whole bunch of uh, Star Trek books that I didn't have for my collection, and she got them for me, so that's really cool. Uh, first up, we got a few uh, comic books, which is awesome because I don't have any Star Trek uh, comic books, so I was very happy to get them. And the first thing she got me was uh, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, which is actually one of my favorite Star Trek movies, and I did not know that they actually uh, turned it into a comic book, so that's really cool. I definitely look forward to reading through this. Also picked up a copy of uh, Star Trek uh, Countdown. This is a, a prequel to the 2009 Star Trek movie that was the reboot. And uh, definitely looking forward to reading through this as well. A lot of great pictures in there and uh, great uh, condition as well. So very happy with that. She also picked me up a copy of Star Trek Dead of Honor. So another cool uh, comic book. Definitely looking forward to reading through these. She also found a couple Star Trek magazines, which I do have a lot of those. But uh, these are two issues I did not have. And the first one was uh, Star Trek uh, Deep Space Nine Collector's Golden Premiere Edition. I do not have any of the Star Trek Deep Space Nine magazines. And this was uh, the first uh, issue, so very happy with that. Great way to start that collection off. Has some great information here and some awesome posters too, so definitely uh, looking forward to reading that. And she also found a, a copy of Star Trek Next Generation, the Fisher Magazine, Volume 24, which I only have one other one, so now I finally have two of the magazines. And it has a uh, really cool uh, picture here of all the different little Star Trek toys you can get, so that's cool. So happy with that. She also got me some of uh, the novels I needed for the original series. Got Star Trek number 52, Home is the Hunter. Star Trek uh, number 81, Mud in Your Eye. Star Trek number 83, Heart of the Sun. Star Trek number 84, Assignment Eternity. A Star Trek Deep Space Nine number 21, Trial by Air. Star Trek Typhon Pact. Star Trek The Next Generation and Losing the Peace, Enterprise, What Price Honor, and the last novel was Star Trek The Next Generation, number 50, Dyson Sphere. That's cool. She also got me a, uh, another Star Trek thing here, was uh, the physics of Star Trek, just talks about the science of uh, Star Trek, the series and the movie, so I thought that'd be kind of an interesting read to go through, so that's really cool. She did get me one other uh, book that was a non-Star Trek related item, and that is a... Uh, book here called All Color But the Black, The Art of Bleach. So this is really cool. I do love the Bleach anime, and so she got me this book here full of all kinds of awesome artwork from the show, so very happy with that. So that was really cool. Uh, now, she didn't get me any games uh, this time. I told her to, uh, that I'd rather get uh, Skylanders once I was missing for my collection because it's really hard for her to find a game that I don't already have. So I was very happy to get these. Now, I don't really remember the names of these guys, but at least show them to you guys. Uh, she got me a couple of the mini guys that are from the first Skylanders game that you had to get from that Frito-Lay's uh, promotional thing, so I'm very happy with those. So I got uh, this one is a Legendary Zoo. I don't remember what his last name is. It's a Zoo something. I also have uh, this one here. Got this one here. Got that one. Another one here. And this one, and then the last one she got me, which still has in the package, it was open, but that's alright. It is a Scarlet Ninjini, one of the uh, variants, so I'm very happy to do that. So that was awesome, glad to get some more Skylanders to add to the collection. Been a while since I picked up any, and it was a really great uh, gift from her. So I'm very happy uh, to my girlfriend for picking up all that awesome Star Trek stuff and the really cool uh, Skylander stuff. And I'll move on to some stuff that I picked up myself. Uh... This is an old pickup. I'm not sure if I showed it, but I got it at a good while, a Goodwill a while ago, and that was uh, this Gears of War uh, faceplate and skin for the Xbox 360. I actually have this on my 360 right now, but when I saw it there, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get one sealed, and I got that for a few dollars. I'm not sure, but so that was really cool. I also picked up a strategy guide for the new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Really cool. I love getting uh, guides for the Mario games. Always happy to have those. Got some PlayStation games. First up I got uh, was uh, G Police Weapons of Justice. I have the first G Police game. Now I have uh, the sequel, so that's cool. For uh, Nintendo DS, picked up a copy of uh, Jewel Master Egypt. Great condition because it was brand new. I opened up and have played a little bit, and it's fun. I also got another game in that series, uh, Jewel Master 
Cradle of Rome 2 for the 3DS, which is also an uh, awesome game. So, very cool. If you like puzzle games, I definitely recommend these. They're really cool, and they're pretty cheap games. Also got a copy here of Rugo Attack. Brand new for the DS. I haven't opened it yet, but I do plan to open it and check it out. looks kind of cool. Picked up some more uh, Sega Genesis games. Now, that's also uh, been a while since I picked up any Genesis stuff. Got a couple loose cards here. First up is uh, Blockout. I got that for a dollar. Got a copy of Marco for two fifty, and a game here called Zoom, which this looks really odd. I definitely uh, want to check it out and see how it is. Got some box ones. First up was uh, Tecmo Super Hockey. I always thought I had this, but I did not have the hockey for the Tecmo Super game, so glad to get that. And that one is complete. And I got that for two dollars. Got a copy here of a Bassmasters Classic, which this is actually was in a box, but somebody cut it up and put it in a sleeve, so that's all right. Just happy to have it now. It's in great condition. Unfortunately, it's missing the manual. I got that for two fifty. Got a copy of uh, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge: Five Magical Puzzles Full of Family Fun. This is one of the Mickey games I did not have for the Genesis, so happy to get it. Card is a little beat up, and so is the manual, but I'm happy to have it. And I got that for three dollars. So not bad. Also picked up a copy here of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. It says it was a rental special. Looks pretty neat. Definitely looking forward to checking this one out. This one's complete, great condition. And I got this for four dollars. Got a copy here of James Pond 2, codename Robocod. Finally have all three James Pond games. Great condition. Unfortunately, it's missing a manual, but that's alright. Very happy with that, and I got that for five bucks. Also picked up a copy here of Art Alive. It looks like it's a it's like a drawing animation program. It kind of reminds me of Mario Paint. I'm not sure how it is, but I definitely look forward to trying that one out. That one was complete as well, and I got that for two dollars and fifty cents. The last Genesis game I picked up was a copy of Predator Two, and I got that for uh, eight dollars. Looks fun. Love the Predator uh, movies. I love the second movie, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game. And that one was complete. So very happy with those ones. Next up, I got some Xbox 360 titles. And the first one I got was a copy of Rock Band Track Pack Volume 2. Picked this up for my girlfriend to give her some more songs for that. She loves the game, so very happy with that. And it was complete. And that one only cost me two bucks. Found a copy of a Super Street Fighter 4, the arcade edition. It only cost me $5, which is not a bad deal. So definitely looking forward to playing uh, that one. Because I do have the other Street Fighter 4 versions, and uh, they're very fun. Fortunately, I was missing a manual, but hey, you can't complain for 5 bucks. So very happy with that. For $12, I picked up a, cap a copy of uh, Castlevania 2, Lords of Shadow. I love the first game, so I'm definitely glad to have the sequel. And that one is complete, so very happy with that. Finally got a copy here of uh, South Park, The Stick of uh, Truth. It's an awesome game. Uh, I played it on my brother's house on his computer, and I loved it. So I definitely uh, wanted to get uh, my own copy, and I got it for the 360. I picked it up for uh, $12, so not bad. So very happy. It's complete as well, so that's great. Also got a copy of uh, Risen 3 Titan Lords. I have the first two Risen games. And when they had a sale on the game fly, I decided to pick it up. I got it for uh, like $16 or $17, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing through this one as well. And that is complete, so I'm very happy with that. And my last pickup is my favorite pickup that I got in December, and that was a Nintendo 64 game I needed for the collection, and that was Bomberman 64, the second attack. And this one did cost me $70, but uh, I've rarely ever run into this game, and so when I saw it, I definitely want to pick it up great condition and I've already tested it out and works great so very happy this now puts me at only needing five more games to complete my 64 collection so that is awesome I'm really hoping I can complete it by the end of this year but we'll just have to see because the titles I need are kind of hard to find and uh, some of them are kind of pricey so we'll see how we do with that goal alright guys if you guys want to have other ways to connect with me be sure to check out my Facebook page it's uh, facebook.com slash Asian sleepy one you guys can also check out my Weebly page I update that all the time with the games that I find. I also upload pictures on there, the stuff that I find. So be sure to check out that stuff. And if you guys want to play any games with me, I have all my gamer tags to the various consoles that I play on down below in the description. Alright guys, take care, have a great day, and sleep. We'll see you guys next time.